Born Before 64 is a TV show that asks the vital question, what will we do for the rest of our lives? Katherine Raker hosts a show for baby boomers and above, inviting real people to tell real stories about overcoming issues, about facing with courage and triumph the significant obstacles many of us face every day. So let's join Katherine Raker for Born Before 64. Hi, we're here on Born Before 64 with a wonderful expert who's been on our show and is now our new plastic surgery expert, and that is Dr. Mark Mandel Brown of the Plastic Surgery Center. He is the director, the founder of the wonderful Plastic Surgery Center, and one of the top docs, and he's even in Cincinnati Top Doc Magazine. How about that? Welcome back to our show. As always, Dr. Brown, it's always a pleasure. Catherine, to have you. it's great to be here. You know, you look younger every day. I can't believe it. And you are over 40, right? Well, I'd like to say that I'm over 60. Oh, you are? I actually qualify for you movie qualify discounts. <laughs> for discounts, for senior discounts. I hate that word, don't you? Well, that's why I just said discounts. Yeah, it's mature. Right. The word is mature. Sure. Um, you know, since the last time you were on, uh, and you had, uh, we had an audience last time, this time we're going to talk about some new things that have happened at the Plastic Surgery Center and new products that, that you're now using. But, you know, the one that I remember is Venus Legacy. And, you know, I'd really like to try it on the stomach now. I did it on the face. I know I need a little bit of here and there. But there are some new things out there that we need to talk about. And so let's talk about whatever you'd like to talk about first. All right. Well, that Venus Legacy is a great addition. So today in the office, I had a patient. Okay. She's not ready for a tummy tuck. Right. But she wants to tighten the skin, right. and she wants to melt a little bit of fat. Right. Doesn't want liposuction, not interested in a tummy tuck. So the Venus Legacy is a great non-surgical option for her. Right. And as you experienced right. with six or seven treatments, this radio frequency device, so it's RF or radio frequency waves, kind of like microwaves for right. food, right. but radio frequency waves, and it heats your skin to 108 degrees. Wow. Now, 108 degrees, if you got a fever to 108 degrees or 105, He'd you'd be, be gone. Well, you'd right. be in the emergency room right, right. at your local hospital. Right. But with this, it disperses the heat in a very even pattern, mm -hmm. and at that temperature, it tightens your collagen and it also melts your fat cells. Where do those fat cells go, Doc? They get uh, dissolved and they get absorbed by your body. Right. I noticed that I could see major differences in my skin when I had it done. And actually, it it's, it's really um, very relaxing, actually. Well, it's like a hot stone massage. You would think 108 degrees would really be hot, but the way it works, it distributes it under the skin right. to the fat cells. And at that temperature, it's really like a hot stone massage. And so, as you experienced and others, it can improve your skin tightening mm -hmm. and fat reduction 10 to 30%. So I don't set the bar up here for these patients because that's where liposuction, a facelift, surgical procedures are. But for mm -hmm. somebody who doesn't have the time, the recovery, this is a great 45 minute, once a week, once every two weeks, six to seven sessions, and then an occasional maintenance. So it's not for everybody, but the Venus Legacy is a great option. Right, and you know, you can see it up on our website where we did it, yeah. and actually up on your website too, you can see pictures of it. Right. Right, and you want to give your website because that's really important. Well, our website is uh, actually two, and the main website is Mandel Brown, M-A-N-D-E-L-L-B-R-O-W-N.com, or you can go to The Plastic Surgery Experts. 
dot com. Now you really are a plastic surgery expert and you do something that is very special all around the country. Can you tell our audience that have never met you before what you do? Well, we um, are fortunate in uh, specializing in both face and body cosmetic or aesthetic procedures. And so I always say the most difficult procedures that we do, take a guess. Uh, breast augmentation? That's not, that's pretty straightforward. That's pretty straightforward. So is it stomach? No, that's pretty straightforward. Facelifts? That's not bad, but. Okay, tell me what it is. All right, number <laughs> one I would say is rhinoplasty. Oh, rhinoplasty okay. is nose reshaping. Right. And the reason that's the hardest is it's really sculpting the nose, and it's not only sculpting the nose, but it's a really a three-dimensional shape that we're developing or working with. And I'd say number two would be doing a breast augmentation but with a breast lift. So when we do a breast lift, what are we doing? We're tightening the skin. Right. We're reducing the outer skin. But what are we doing with the implant? We're making it bigger. So on the outside we're shrinking, on the inside we're enlarging. So there's a fine balance for success for that. And probably the third most challenging as a surgeon is lower eyelids. Because if you take out too much fat, you have that hollow eyed look. Oh, really? And if you don't take out enough, then you say, well, Dr. Mandel Brown, or what uh, the name of the doctor, what, what did I do this for? So I think those are the three most challenging. And what we're known for nationally is a natural look cosmetic surgery. So we don't like the overdone look. So in New York or in California, a lot of my colleagues, you have to have your brows lifted, you have to have your eyelids done, you have to have your face pulled tight. And our goal is to make you look better, but not different. Right. So if I can turn back the clock 15 or 20 years for a facelift or mm -hmm. eyelid or brow lift procedure, that's great. And for the mommy makeovers, you know what, if we can help restore that figure, mm -hmm. if we can't do it with a venous, we can do it with surgery, where right. we tighten the muscle mm -hmm. and we remove the excess skin. I have a question for you um, that I saw just recently um, where I saw a plastic surgeon on television doing a liposuction mm -hmm. during the day in the chair and it was in the arm and they were pulling fat out. Mm -hmm. Do you do that? Uh, yes, you can do that uh, with the arm. You have to really be careful because this skin, you right. know, we used to say how much fat you remove determines if you're a better doctor or not. And right. it really has nothing to do with the amount of fat you remove. It's how much fat you leave behind because right. we're shaping. And so you can remove fat from the arm. Right. But you have to count for the skin to tightening, up. tightening up. Otherwise, you'll just have angel wings. Which most of us unfortunately have. Those angel right? wings are Those very, angel wings that, you know, that, that, we're, trying to, yeah, that, that. we're trying to constantly uh, tighten up, right. you know. And it's, it's, you know, you can only do so much exercise. Right to actually tighten them, so... And everything is a trade-off, because you can remove fat, mm -hmm. and that takes care of some of the flabbiness, Right. but if you don't tighten the skin, then you do you have that exercise, excess. If you don't exercise with it, it doesn't, it uh, brings more angel wings to, it to does. bear? It may right. increase okay. the angel That makes sense. And the trade-off is a scar right. for a tighter... Tighter look. Tighter look. Right. Uh, and that arm scar, unlike the facelift where we can right. hide that incision right. around the ear, right. the breast underneath or around the areola or in the armpit, right. tummy tuck, we hide it down in the bikini line. Right. The arm, there is no there way There is to hide no it. way you can do that, right? And, and especially if you're redhead or you've got um, certain type of coloring in you, right. does it show? That scar may. Be you may red. stay red longer, but I've got some good news. Oh, you got some good news. All right. The good news uh -huh. is that we just, at the end of December, got the Icon, which is made by Palomar. So it's called the Palomar uh -huh. Icon. 
And this laser gets rid of red broken blood vessels. Okay. It gets rid of brown spots. Will it get rid of the scars that I have? And it will get rid of scarring. Good, because you know what happened to me before. So I have these scars and I can't get rid of them, right? Well, this device is well, it's a gonna winner. It's going to work. Okay, and on that note, I think we have to take a short break in okay. just a moment. Great. Would you give your website out again? Sure. Theplasticsurgeryexperts.com or mandelbrown.com, M-A-N-D-E-L-L-B-R-O-W-N. Dot com. And you know, I want to tell you, I went up on the website and I looked at all of the wonderful people that give you seven, eight, ten stars, which is really cool. I mean, when you can go and you can see people's opinions everywhere, it makes you feel, and that's what we're going to talk about, how to pick a plastic surgeon if they're not here in Cincinnati, right? Sure. Okay. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back on Born Before 64 after these messages. And don't forget to go to our website at bornbefore64.com. 